like these claw clips if you know you know like i love that they are brought back and i literally cannot live without them anyways i thought i would dedicate this vlog to getting ready for my engagement party which is tomorrow so right now i am actually on my way to go get my nails done um, because they're disgusting and I would like them to look nice because I find when you get engaged, everyone wants to see your beautiful ring, which I will put also in this vlog. <laughs> about that too so I'm going to take you along with me tomorrow to get those services done <laughs> event that is in uh, Dartmouth which I'm so excited about I freaking love Pilates um, I haven't done it enough but it's just like a good workout it's like relaxing somewhat at the same time and it just it's nice to switch things up a bit I haven't done a fitness class in a while since I got rid of my Evolve which is a, a gym here Halifax gym membership just because it's a tad pricey, especially while I'm uh, in school. So I've been going to Fit for Less, which I do really like, but I also really enjoy a good uh, workout class. I am not caffeinated just yet, but I'm in the process. I am forever tired, I feel like. I just got a aura ring right here, um, which one of the things it does is tracks your sleep and it's crazy how accurate it is and um, the other data that it kind of supplies but the data for sleep it shows like your deep sleep when you're awake your REM sleep which I keep meaning to google what REM is I feel like I know what it is but oh good god I almost hit a freaking deer well I have a second I'm just going to touch on uh, the vlog I just uploaded which includes kind of like a health update so I went back to my doctor's and she basically told me to fill that prescription for SIBO, which uh, was great. I kind of wish I did it like over a month ago, so it would be over by now, but it's uh, three pills a day for 14 days. And I'm really hoping it works because it was over $400, which makes me shed a tear a little bit especially having insurance through school, but the insurance through school is awful. So literally none of it was covered, which is brutal. And I'm just at this point hoping it works because 
I do not want to have to like go back to my doctors or find something else or get another test done or you know pay another $400. just finished getting my eyebrows waxed and before that I did the Pilates event which was so great it honestly went by so fast and it was extremely challenging it wasn't like a an upbeat like you sweat a lot kind of workout but it was uh, more like muscle group focus which was great I was doing some of the moves and she was like okay hey, round two and I was like round two holy guacamole it was good though and which was so so kind of her to provide some goodies at the end for all of us so I'm gonna show you what they were great one of the goodies is a wax stick which is meant for your hair to have that kind of like slicked back look the next goodie is a sample of her favorite uh, charcoal face facial mask the next item is her uh, own brand and it is a sunless tan mist to kind of give you a glowy hydrated uh, bronze look which is like who doesn't want that. And the next thing is a brand called The Cure which is actually in Hubbard's Nova Scotia which is very close to us which is nice to be able to so support local and it is what does it say a face and neck boosting mist so say less. Last item is a Super Greens powder. I've been like trying to figure out um, which brand to get. There's so many out there. <laughs> sleep so I would be productive and get a little vlog going, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is 100% going on the vlog. <laughs> I'm 100% exposed. <laughs> Just, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you close your eyes, you get slapped around here, let me tell you. <laughs> well, you're sitting position. <laughs> you're like, camera's on and like, a totally different human appears. Yeah, it's freaking awkward, you know? Well, you see your foot up here, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Where are we going? Yeah, yeah. It is true, though. Um, being being on camera, it actually, like, it takes getting used to. It. And so privately, it's freaking crushing, getting better every day. So cute. Um, but yeah, we're going to the zoo to see some animals. Oh, yeah. So excited. And it's not the Okanagan Valley, it's, it's where. <laughs> <laughs> the Okanagan Valley. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. It was, uh, that's in BC, babe. But we're going to the Oakland, Oakland, Oakland. I don't know the right way to pronounce it, but the zoo that's in Aylesford, Nova Scotia.
Okay, I'm back. I wanted to talk to you guys about the ring process as I had mentioned in a previous clip I was going to touch on to kind of give you some insight on what we did, who we went with, and everything in between. So Jesse and I kind of knew that we wanted to incorporate um, his grandmother's and possibly some of my mom's gold into the ring, which didn't end up happening, which it could still happen for the, what's it called? Wedding band. Basically what happened when we got engaged, we, as an I, kind of said to people looking for the ring that uh, we were gonna design one together and I heard lots of great recommendations. So it was a little confusing on uh, who to choose um, in the city, they stumbled upon Fireworks Gallery, which is on Barrington Street in downtown Halifax. So what happened is I reached out to them. They asked us to come in for kind of like a consultation and we were able to explain and kind of give descriptions of what we, as, as an I kind of, uh, had in mind for the ring. Originally, we wanted to incorporate some of our birthstone, which is the same uh, garnet in January, which would have been super cute, but after talking with them and kind of getting the first image of what the ring could look like. I just thought it was way too busy with a gold band, um, moonstone in the middle and diamonds on the side and then two garnets on the side, which was way too busy in my personal opinion. And kind of a backstory on that. I wanted something a little bit different and unique, not necessarily a diamond for the ring, which led me to wanting a pearl which would be beautiful, but then I was uh, swiftly told that pearls don't last long. So I was trying to kind of find something that looked like a pearl that wasn't a diamond and I stumbled upon Moonstone. So basically after lots of back and forth with the um, consultant at Fireworks Gallery, we came up with a rendering of the ring, which I, I'm gonna try to kind of put uh, what my inspiration was, I guess, uh, in this clip here. So basically before, uh, the final decision to go ahead with making the ring, um, they send a few renderings of the ring to kind of get a better idea of what it's actually going to end up looking like. And then we just had to kind of wait a couple weeks. So for someone that has no idea or had no idea what they were doing when it comes to ordering jewelry or an engagement ring, it was such like a smooth, easy uh, process at Fireworks and I would 100% recommend. I'll give you a quick little look, close up of the ring. Oh goodness, this is not gonna look good. <laughs> So as you can kind of see, it's iridescent, which I'm obsessed with. Oop. Anyways, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Oh, 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 oh.